Hi students, how are you? Hope this video finds you well and everybody's doing, um, having a good week, having a great day. So um, I understand the rumor on the street is it's Valentine's Day, right? So I want to do, of course, your teachers have been asking me a Valentine's Day themed art project so we can bring that home to our family and loved ones. So um, let's get started. Okay, just a moment. And I wanna show you first what we're gonna do, what it looks like. Uh-oh, I need to shut off my video. I don't like my video on. Well, before I do, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, I am not sure that your teachers are gonna have the time to mount this on special paper, but you might be able to, so you could go home and um, find a piece of colored paper or something else to mount it on, even the back of the cereal box and cut it nicely. And um, you could even cover it in tape if you have that cute little tape. There's a million things you can do if you want to. And feel free, you can always ask me questions, um, send me an email. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna um, turn off my video, good. And I'm going to screen share now my other, hmm, here it is, content from my second camera, old picture. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do is first, what we need to do is, um, I think things look nicer in squares. It shows that a little bit of effort maybe has been given. So I know you guys are young, but learn how to do this. It's pretty simple. So take your top corner and you're gonna just drag it down. You're gonna kind of pay attention to this corner, making a point and line up this particular line here, nice and straight. And you can kind of tell from the way this goes if your fold's going well. So I always wiggle and line it up before I press down hard because I don't want a bunch of creases on my paper, right? So you saw how I did that? I just brought this down, lined it up with this line here, then use the crease and then this line here now. Now we can um, fold that. And actually I have an idea. We're gonna maybe leave that piece right there because maybe we can write something on that area actually. So, but what we are gonna do, is we're just going to go crazy with a ruler. So grab a ruler. I have my old cool funky ruler from like the 80s, I think. <laughs> and you're just going to draw crazy lines that can intersect across the paper. But we don't want to show them ever, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the origin. We don't want to have them begin like here. You know, they got to crisscross. They got to go across. Actually, I think the directions had said no intersecting lines. So I think we're not supposed to do that, but that's okay. So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn our page. I'm actually gonna draw um, while we're at it, a nice line across the top where I have my fold. So I know where to stop. And then you're gonna draw lines going crisscrossy this direction. Okay, so we're just gonna be random about it. They should wiggle, go different directions. Okay, I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. I think I've made too many things to color with you guys. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We got a crazy pattern here. Then on a side sheet, if you're not used to drawing hearts, practice drawing a heart, okay? So a heart is just a semicircle, like a hump, like it's gonna make a circle, but Instead, it goes straight down into like a hook, like a candy cane, right? So now we'll do it on the same on the other side. They're symmetrical. So it's real important to try to make them symmetrical. Now hearts come in different shapes. Some of them are fat and bubbly. Some are thin and long. Um, hearts come in all shapes and sizes. We do want it to be pretty large here. You want it to be um, the size of Mrs. Paulson's hand. Your hand's probably a lot smaller than mine. So imagine it filling up almost the whole page. So I'm gonna start here. I could figure out exactly where the middle is by just holding my page. You guys don't have to do that, but I'm gonna do that. 
And I'm going to start by drawing a spot where my heart's going to begin and a spot where I want my heart to end. So those are my target points. I'm going to turn up my light now that we're, uh, we're uh, done folding. So start here and do a big semicircle that connects down to the point in the middle. And then try your best to match it on the other side. I have a hard time with that, even me after all these years. See, it's not uh, perfect, but guess what? Nothing is perfect. So don't think anything is perfect. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So we're going to try doing this. So what you want to do is you're going to pick two or three um, warm colors for the center, and you're going to pick two or three cool colors for the outside. Now, who remembers what those are? Do you remember how to tell what's warm and cool? Do you remember? So um, cool colors are going to be your blues and green, right? So blues and purples, and maybe a green. I don't like these crayons. You know, not all crayons are created equal. I got to tell you, it's really true. I'm going to pick this cool turquoise color. I'm sorry if you don't have it, but I'm excited about it. And the purple and the blue. Those are going to be my three colors for, I'm going to do them on the outside because to me it makes more sense to have the heart be warm colors because what color is the heart usually, right? Yep, red or pink. Oh, we don't want to miss the pink. Mm, we could put pink. I think it's kind of a blue, um, it has some blue in it sometimes. So now the trick is what you want to do is color it in. Um, I don't know, you might want to at this point use a black thick marker. If you have a Sharpie, great. If you don't have a marker, that's okay. You can use a colored pencil like this um, or you know, as long as we get a nice big black line, um, I'm going to use my Sharpie. So if there's Sharpies available to use, don't drive your teacher crazy. Be patient and it can be done afterwards. It does not need to be done right now. Okay, so I've got that going. And um, another thing that looks nice is also to have black lines um, on your sheet as well. So I'm actually going to sharpen my black pencil to um, do it in black pencil. So um, I'm going to actually use my ruler to go over those lines real quick because I know I can't draw a straight line. Um, and I suggest you do the same because we want this to look really nice for our family, right? We want them to be proud of the work we do and show that we're, we have a creative spirit and a big heart to make them something so nice and be what we can show is by the quality, by how much we tried, right? So again, I don't think I was supposed to intersect that line, but that's okay. I don't think it did much weird things to the paper. All right, so we're just gonna outline all these lines black. And I'll tell you why I like to do this at the beginning, the black outline. And again, you could also use this with a crayon instead of a pencil. So, um, but why uh, do, do, do why I like to do black first is if you're using crayon or a marker, I mean, or um, pencil like this, it can sometimes um, get messy with the crayons. It'll, it'll show. So that's what we got to work with. So we're doing warm colors in between and cool colors on the outside. So you're pretending like each one of these is its own little stained glass piece, basically. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna take our time to color it in. I wish I could fast forward my video for you right now, but I am not that tech savvy. So pretend we're in fast motion, you guys also. Now, the trick is you don't want the colors to ever touch. And that's what makes it really fun, I think. So I loved doing these when I was younger because I'd be like, oh, I can put red here because the red doesn't touch the other red, only in this little spot, right? So um, while we're coloring, 
warm colors inside the heart. We're going to, I'm going to turn on some music. You guys keep coloring, please. And I'll put on some music. Mm. Okay, so um, I'll put yellow here. Now I can put orange here, but not red, right? Because it's right next door. This is why I don't like the black. You see how the black is coming into the orange? That's why I prefer to do it later. But I wanted to show you guys. Now I could do orange here or red, but I'm going to choose red over here. It's my choice. I just think I'd rather do a big red square here than in, in the yellow one. Or a, yeah, yellow one because the other color I could use here was yellow. Now this project looks really cool when the other colors come. When you put the cool colors against it, that's what is cool. So there's a couple of um, uh, things we can do up on top. We can do the I love you to pieces. It's kind of cute, right? Because it's all pieces. Oh, well, you can let me know. You can decide later. Or just, I love you. I don't know, I bet some of you creative kids got to have some ideas right now. I bet I could hear it in the classroom. Wish I was there with you guys. Hopefully soon. So you see how I'm not coloring in this whole square? It stops at the heart line, right? Don't miss that, otherwise you're gonna miss the project. <laughs> you miss the point of what makes the project look cool. Look at this little one over here. So I'm gonna make this big red one. Okay, and this one can be orange or yellow. I'm gonna go with yellow. This little piece can be orange. And the final piece is gonna be yellow. All right. So we've got our warm colors and our heart done now. So now it's time to do our cool colors around. So same thing, we're gonna stay in the lines as best as we can. I've shown you my trick about that, right? First, you wanna go around the edges first, carefully, because that's the most important part is the edge. And then you can go all crazy in the middle, right? See how the color makes the difference, adding these other colors. Now I'm not sure about my other blue. I'm gonna change to a different blue. More bluey blue. We don't want to use the knockoff crayons. I'm not a fan. All right, let's see. Is this blue too similar? No, that's nice. Okay. So again. We don't want the colors to touch, so we're gonna change it out each time. Now I'm gonna go slow around the edges. And you might be way behind me. I might be going way too fast, but this is all just you. This is all coloring. So don't stress out. You can do this at your own time, at your own pace, right? Well, Now, if you're going to go off your page, you might want to put another piece of paper there so you don't, I'm right, I'm drawing on paper, so I'm lucky. Okay. I'm thinking I might need to start doing manicures. I didn't know my hands would be on camera so much. <laughs> Is it, can I even go get a manicure? I don't know. 
Maybe. I'm gonna start singing for you guys. I'll spare you. My kids will be embarrassed, mortified if I sing. <laughs> So which one doesn't touch? I'm going to pick them carefully. Right? Pick them carefully. They can be across from each other, but not next to each other. Commercial ruined my vibe. Had a nice guitar vibe going. All right. Anybody else's hand hurting yet? Or is it just this old teacher's hand? All right. We're getting close though. It's looking cool though, right? All right. So. You should be, um, I don't know where you are on this, but you know, you always can finish it on your own time if you run out of time coloring. I think we're gonna be okay. What do you think? I changed this one to purple. So it's cool to see these, these squares change colors when they cross the lines, right? That's what makes it look cool, I think in your head. You might not realize that's what's happening. That's why it looks so cool. And then I'm actually, I don't want to go ahead. So like, I really want to paint this or, or color this purple, but it might not work out with um, the whole trying not to let things touch. So I better just wait and not be hasty, right? So I'm doing blue and the green and it looks like Oh, no, nope, that little spot's going to be purple. Bummer. See, I think, oh, no, I can make this one turquoise. See? Cool, because it didn't touch it right next door. So good, I can make this big, long one purple. Okay, purple. I'm going to put purple in here, because the purple is what really stands out, right? There's the, oh, oh, I just did yellow. Put your warm colors away. Uh-oh, you know what blue and yellow make green. Look at that green. It worked. All right, so I'm going to try and make it more blue looking. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm going over one. <gasps> All right. All mistakes are caught on camera. All right. Like this one blue. I think that one's a little too so slow. There we go. Okay, here's the purple. Purple's back. Blue, uh-oh, got to make that one purple because it touches that one there. Then we can make this one purple because it's in the middle, right? I like things like that where you can kind of figure out certain things. All right, our warm and cool heart. Looking pretty nice, minus my little green spot my green triangle. So it's up to you if you want to use this kind of as a, um, like you could write something here 
like I love you mom and dad or brother sister or grandma grandpa um and what's if you do have access to construction paper if you are going to mount this onto another piece you want to try to pick a color actually it would look really good with one of these warm colors whatever colors in the center of your heart it would frame it really nicely so um if you can that would be great if not um there you go you have this heart um uh you know cute little thing you can do right so um i hope that you enjoyed this you can turn it into a card you could um fold it if you'd like um i don't know if your teachers are cringing right now um i'm gonna check it out first don't do this yet i just had an idea that maybe we could fold it and see what happens so i was thinking maybe we could we'd have to get rid of that but you could fold it up you know in in a four fold and then um open it up and write your um your your valentine here okay and then it's a pretty but i would not write in a sharpie because as you see it leaks through the paper so whatever you write here um so here's one that we can leave up if your teacher wants to leave it up um dear mom and dad Happy Valentine's Day. I love you so much, Mrs. P. But you'll write what you want to write, right? So you could do that. That's actually a really cute thing to do, but I would definitely um, cut this guy off if you're going to do that. We don't need that. So, and what you can do now too, is you can also oops, decorate this side, at least put like a little um, colored line around the heart and maybe um, do some designs around the heart here. You know, I wanted to do that earlier too. Um, a famous artist, Frida Kahlo, she used to draw um, hearts a lot and she would add little bumps around the heart like this. And so did old fashioned Valentine's days, days. They would uh, use doilies. And um, I used to love making those homemade Valentine's days day cards with the, uh, with doilies. Uh, so I do you know what a doily is. I hope you know what a doily is. It's like white lacy. Um, usually they're hand knit, but they can be on paper and they're intricately, intricately cut out. So um, you also can do another loop on this and you can even color these out later. So it's all in the details. It's your effort, it shows. Your effort shows friends. So try and make it nice for your family if you can. Um, they know what you're capable of and they'll know how much effort you put in, right? So don't cheat, just give it a good shot. Try to make it beautiful for yourself, for your family and um, have yourself a really nice Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed making these little cards. Um, and now you have a nice little um, thing to put on your fridge. It's always great to write the year in case you end up keeping it 2021 and your name, of course, but we signed it here. So you guys can go back and color these up if you want. Um, on the other side with crayons or uh, markers, not markers, crayons or colored pencils. It's hard to keep talking to myself for so long. Uh, so you see how cute that is? That turned out really cute, right? So, all right, friends, um, that is my lesson for today. I'm gonna stop the share, turn on my video. I'm always scared to see what I look like. Ah, okay, so I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.